Small things, big Alberta. Discover places you've never heard of. Small things, come explore. See nature just outside your front door. Small things, Small things. big Alberta. Discover places you've never heard of. Hi, I'm Alice. Welcome to Small Things Big Alberta. Today I'm at Elk Island National Park. So uh, some of the things I can tell you about this lovely park is that it is the oldest national park in Canada. It's fully fenced off and it's home to a herd of elk. It's home to white-tailed deer and it's also home to bison or buffalo. And today I'll be joined, hopefully, by our friend Masqua. Now Masqua is around here somewhere. He said to just call his name. So Masqua! 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 Oh, hi Masqua! Hi, how's it going? It's going great! Did yeah. you make it here okay? I know it's a long way to travel on foot. Yeah, I had to walk by all those people in their cars. Oh yes, the cars. Yeah. Cars. Car. Yeah, so um, here I am with Masqua. So um, I have, um, I believe you said you had a friend today I'm yes. gonna meet yeah I got a I got another Dale for you oh well I guess you know the best Dales I do just the best just the best excellent so we're gonna meet yet another Dale and maybe some animal friends yes oh this will be very exciting and um, yeah let's uh, let's head on out and All see right. what we can see okay well uh, let's go this way yeah even though the park is named after elk I really hope to see a buffalo Luckily, Masqua has a friend who's an expert on them. Hello there. I was wondering where you guys were. Hello. Hi. That's some tall grass. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. I'm Alice, and I understand from Masqua that you're Dale. Yes. Yeah, so we have a second Dale. You know a lot of Dales, don't you, Masqua? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. Looks like owl feather. Oh, owl feather. Owl. Ooh, I didn't even see it. So it looks like uh, owl feather. You were saying? Yeah, more of an owl feather than a hawk. Yeah, and uh, it's nice and broad too. So we'll put that back. Someone else can discover Replace it. it. Yeah. As you can see, he's just curled up there and he's speckled. He is not a fuzzy bear. Those are yellow and black. You can see this one's all speckly. Oh, what do you have there, Masqua? It's a feather. It's a feather? Well, that's very fabulous. Can I take a look at it? Sure. Okay. That's very fabulous. Mm -hmm. Do you think this would have been from the goose nest that we found earlier, Dale? No, it's too small. It's too small? Yeah, it's from a smaller bird. Smaller bird. Maybe a robin or... A middle orc. Oh, cool, cool. There's lots of different kinds of birds. It's hard to tell them all. Yes. Well, I'll give that back to you, Masqua. Yeah, thank you. you know, so you can stay fabulous. There we go. We took a walk around the many habitats of Elk Island, but we hadn't seen any buffalo yet. We seem to be getting closer though. We found a buffalo footprint, a tiny frog, and a goose eggshell in an interesting patch of dirt. Okay, so this is a big patch. Uh, what do you think this could be? Well, this is where the buffaloes, they roll around. Mm -hmm. It's kind of to keep the bugs off. Mm -hmm. And they'll, they'll do that, all the buffaloes that, the dirtier they get, the more mosquitoes will, where the bugs will stay off them. So that's what they do, is they come and roll around here. And you can see there's little bits of fur uh, from where they've rolled around. Fur. And you'll see a lot of these in, a lot of these, out, out in the boat. Ooh, okay. extra 
your puppy. What do you have there, Dale? Fur. Oh, even more fur. That's Malted lovely. Fur. So that's their part of their winter coat. Yeah. So in the win in the winter they get really furry, and then in the summer it falls off. It renews and then it goes back. I'll have to keep them yeah. warm. So we send all the juniors that way. <laughs> oh, here comes a buffalo. Ooh, look at that look right it. there. Straight ahead. Oh, look, Masqua. Here's what we came to see. We've got the bison. Wow. They look really tiny from over here, but they're huge. They're bigger than a bear, even. Bigger than a bear? Yeah, they're huge. Well, I don't know. I'd have, I have to see it for myself. You'd have to see it for yourself? Yeah. Well, we'll see if we can get a closer look and compare. Uh... Compare. No. No. Okay. <laughs> So we've got some friends in the back there. So um, are there any little buffalo facts you can tell us? Well, the buffalo look friendly and really like team animals, but they're not. So they're in the wild and you can't approach them. You can't try to pit them. So you just got to give them their space. They stay the distance like we are right here. We're not right in their face. And they're, they're really, um, they're really uh, territorial, so... I'm a wild animal. You can't get close to me. <laughs> Just like the bear. Just like the bear. Yeah. bear. Bear is territorial too, but bear will kind of respect you when you're in this area. He'll just move away from you. <laughs> but here, the buffalo won't move away from you. He'll, if you get into his area, he'll charge you. One of the things he does is he puts his uh, tail up in the air and that's kind of like a warning sign. A uh, warning sign to say that you're getting too close, back off. And the other thing he'll do, is he'll, he'll kind of break the ground right in front of him with his hoof, saying you're, it's, you're extremely close. So the bears, the buffaloes, are, um, even the calves, when they're calving, when they have the calves, you can't go too close to them because they like to, especially the mothers, they like to protect their, their, uh, their child, their kids, and their young, and they don't like nobody in their area. So it's important that we give them respect and we keep our distance. Yeah, look at them back there. Rolling around, looks kind of fun actually. Yeah. <laughs> On our walk, we saw lots of crows. They were watching us while we were watching them. Crows are sociable birds and like to hang out in small groups. They help balance the ecosystem by eating insects and pests. They are clever, curious, and probably wanted to be in our show. Just look at them fly. Once the crows finished performing, Dale took me to a buffalo barber, a tree. Uh, Dale, what are we looking at? We're looking at where the buffalo uh, come and scratch themselves. Uh, they scratch, taking the fur off. As you can see, the fur right here hanging. So this is what they do. They use the tree to scratch where they can't put their arms on. <laughs> their little buffalo arms. Yeah. Yeah. They do the same thing to mark my territory. Yeah. They yeah. scratch it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you do. I know that. And I know where to stay away from. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, uh, it's my territory now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Working good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the fur's as soft as mine, I think. Well, I don't know. Yours is yours is very soft. Little scratches. Yours is extra luxurious, I think. I yeah. think the bear's the hair. The your hair's a little bit more coarse than this guy's. Here. Than this guy's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Maybe if you use some uh, conditioner, you can be really luxurious. Yeah. Try bear grease. I heard it works real good. I sweat bear grease. <laughs> I don't need to try it. I, it's on me. While Dale and I were watching Buffalo, Masqua found himself getting a little bit hungry. Dinner. 
there's dinner. Moskwa, no! That's a wasp's nest. This is a bee. The bumblebee is collecting nectar from a thistle flower. She'll take the nectar home to make honey. Most bees are female, even the worker bees. Bees also collect pollen, and then they transport that pollen from flower to flower. This pollinates the flower and gives us all of our fruits, nuts, and seeds. Bumblebees are now endangered species, and 85% of plants exist because of pollination from bees. So it's important to protect bee habitats. Look at that little bee munching on all that nectar. The nectar is high in sugar, and that gives the bee the energy that it needs to fly. Mmm, now I want some honey on toast. So here we are in some beautiful poplar thickets. Um, what can you tell us about the uh, poplar thickets or the animals that live here? Well, the trees are, a par uh, are the home of all the animals that live here. It's our cover. Uh, they like the moose, the elk, the deer. I'm sorry, did I hear moose? Moose, I heard someone say oh, no. moose. Ger Gerald followed us. Um, Hello, it's me, Gerald the Moose. Um, I heard you were going to Elk Island today, and I thought, why Gerald, did this is Gerald? this is this is Dale. Dale, Hello, Dale. This is another hey. Dale. Yes. Wow. Hey, Moose. Hello, I am called Gerald the Moose. I am a singing moose. I like to sing mm. all day. Shh. Sorry. Why are we being quiet? There's, Why? There's buffalo what? over there. There's buffalo. We're gonna scare away the buffalo. Oh, there's buffalo. I think uh, I think Gerald wants to wants to practice his singing so he can become a bird. Oh, that is true. So, I just like birds. I want all the birds to land in my antlers. But we're trying to be quiet then. Yes. Because so of we're buffalo? Good. Yes. Yes. I like buffalo. So, They're so majestic. And they, oh, sorry, sorry. Yes, sorry. Yes. They just scare them away. I will try my best to be a very quiet moose. All right? It's just that sometimes when I try to be quiet, it starts to get loud <laughs> and louder. And that was sorry, sorry. Shh, shh. All right. I promise I will be quiet. Can I sing a song later if I'm just quiet for a if you're not, If you're not quiet enough, they'll come and chase you away. Yeah. I don't want to be chased So they can away. have their peace and quiet. Yeah. In that case, Gerald, go sing over there. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. I will yeah. sing over there. As loud as you can over there in the field. <laughs> All right, I will. Right, can I sing a song for you later, please? Okay. You know what? Okay. Sure. If you've been practicing, we'll hear to. your your new tunes. All right, thank you. I will see you soon. And in the meantime, I'm going to be the quietest moose I've ever been. Oh! <gasps> well, that was... That was delightful. That I, was delightful. I think that's the quietest I've ever heard of. What? Oh! Sorry! <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Gerald, everybody. That's Gerald. Gerald. That's Gerald the Moose on the loose. Dale and I walked around Elk Island and he told me more about the history of his people and their connection to the buffalo. He had lots of interesting stories. See, the rock is one of our main, one of our main uh, items that we use in our culture. So when we have sweat ceremonies, we use the rock. And also in our, in our pipe, when we have those pipes, mm -hmm. it's made out of rock. And um, hey, it's an ancient tool, but look at this rock. I mean, noticed that it's been moving and it's got that opening in there and that's we, we believe, as Native people, we believe that's the ground, a grandfather rock. And there's stories behind why we call it grandfather. But we believe, as people, as Native people, that these rocks will come alive at, when there's nobody around and then they'll come and sit back down. And that's what I'm thinking this. So probably. That's what it did, because it's. Yeah, it's moved. Yeah. I was worried we were being watched by rocks but it was really just a pair of hawks. I found something in the grass that hops, and Moskwa impersonated the wizard Gandalf. You shall not pass. Oh. Overall, it was a wonderful day. I loved Elk Island, and we wished we could stay. 
Well, thank you so much for uh, guiding us around Elk Island National yeah. Park. I had a wonderful time. Thank you so much, Dale. Thank you. You're very welcome. It was a pleasure awesome. to have you guys here, and we'll do it again another time. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dale. Thank you. See you. See you. Okay, well, this was so much fun, Moskwa. I yeah. hope you had a nice time. Thank you, I did. Oh, well, and your friend Dale was just so lovely as well. And, yeah. Uh, and yeah, so um, I'm going to be making a craft at home. Oh, awesome. What kind of craft? Uh, I think I'm going to do a pom-pom bison. Oh, that would be so cool. Yeah, I think it's fitting because it was all about bison. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'll definitely have to see you next time, Moskwa. Yes, yeah, see you next time. Okay, I look forward. see you. And stay safe out there, hey? I will, you too. Okay, see you. See ya. Wow, that was so much fun at Elk Island. I loved seeing the buffalo, or bison as they're sometimes known. So I'm gonna make a cute little craft today about a buffalo. So what you'll need is some white paper, some scissors. If you're too young to use them, get an adult to help you. I've got some felt markers. I've got some brown felt, or if you don't have felt at home, you can also use brown construction paper. I've got some nice fluffy yarn, or you can use fun fur. Can't forget our two little googly eyes. And then I also have some nice little pom-poms for us to use. Oh. oh, hi Kayla the Crafting Mouse. How are you? Forgot your glue. I did forget my glue. Thanks, Kayla. No uh, problem. So first of all, we're gonna cut two little ovals out of our construction paper or our felt. So I've got one big oval for the bison body and I've got one little oval for the bison head. So we're gonna open our glue. We're gonna get a nice amount of glue, zigzagging. Gonna flip it over and we're gonna place it in the middle of our page, just like that. Oh, hi, well, hi Kayla. I see you've got my nice little yarn. Thank you so much. Yes, I absolutely do. So next, we're gonna draw on, as you can see, he's starting to take the shape of a buffalo, but he's missing his legs, he's missing his tail, and he's missing his little horns. So. Well, we can't have that, exactly. So I'm gonna draw on some nice little legs. It doesn't, if you're not very good at drawing, it's absolutely fine. You just need to draw some little legs poking out. So next, we're gonna draw some little horns because buffalo or bison have horns. So the next part is going to be the pom-poms. So I think our bison needs to be decorated and jazzed up a little bit. And that's what I love pom-poms for. And we're gonna put our pom-poms wherever you want on your buffalo. So I'm gonna just cover him in pom-poms. Gonna make him look so fabulous. Now, the next part and the final part, the googly eyes, oh my goodness, I love googly eyes. And there he looks so silly now. And it looks like he's looking right at us. So, hi Frederick. Hi Frederick. Isn't that nice? Now, I think it needs a little finishing touch. Don't you, Kayla? Yeah, we could always put a background. That's exactly what I was thinking. Now, what do buffalo eat? Hmm. 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 Grass? That's correct, they do eat grass. So let's give him some nice little grass to munch on. So I'm gonna take a green marker because grass is green and I'm just gonna draw little lines. And you can put the little lines wherever you want. And that way he'll have lots of things to snack on. So that is our pom-pom buffalo. Now I have one that I made earlier that's made with lots of different colors, and this one's made with construction paper. This is Wilhelmina. Beautiful. And that's all we have time for, so uh, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again next time on our next adventure on Small Things Big Alberta. Bye.
Don't forget to like and subscribe to see lots more of Alice's adventures. Wow, that was such a great pom-pom buffalo. Can't wait to try that myself. We had such a fun time today at Elk Island National Park. But just a reminder, we had fun watching the buffalo, but don't approach them. Leave animals be. Wild animals are wild animals. We'll see you again on Small Things, Big Alberta. Oh, Moskwa. Yeah. Hey, where's Alice? Uh, she left already. <gasps> But she said I could sing a song. Yeah. Oh, can, uh, hey, can I sing the end credit song? Uh, please, please. Yeah, sure, sure. Oh, yeah. oh thank you so much. <clears throat> Small things, that's the end. It starred Gerald, Alice, and her friends. But mostly me, Gerald, I'm the best. The most talented, most in the West. Small things, and me, the most exciting, Moose you'll ever see. I'm Gerald, that's the show, starring the most amazing moose you'll ever know, Gerald. Moskwa? Moskwa, the song's not over, where did you go? Oh, everyone's a critic. <laughs>